safe work environment is not Luzon, Misayas at Mindanao. Limang magkakaanak sa Malasike, Pangasinan, ang nasawi matapos makuryente sa loob ng kanilang bahay. Ang alambre kasing gagawin sanang sampayan, aksidenteng dumikit sa isang cellphone charger. Kumihingi ngayon ng tulong ang mga naulilang ng limang biktima. Nakatutok si Emil Sumangil. Magkakatabing bangkay na ng abutan ng pulisya kagabi ang limang magkakamag-anak na nakuryente sa loob ng kanilang bahay sa liblib na barangay ng Bakundaw East, Malasiki, Pangasinan. Nadiskubre ng mga kapitbahay ang sinapit ng magkakaanak pasado alas 10 ng gabi dahil sa walang tigil na pagtahol ng alaga nilang aso na tanging nakaligtas sa aksidente. Yung mag-asawa nga, gumagawa sila ng sampayan kasama yung isang anak nila. Okay. Uh, yun nga, big, uh, aksidente po na ikabit na nakadikit po yung... Uh, yung alambre doon sa wire at yun po ang uh, cause ng uh, pagkamatay uh, po nila. Batay sa pagsisiyasat ng Malasiki PNP, dumikit ang alambring hawak noon ng magkalivin na sina Ariel Colarco at Rochelle Mendoza sa outlet ng kuryente kung saan may nagcha-charge ng cellphone. Hindi raw nakadiin ang gusto sa saksakan ng charger kaya sumingit sa pagitan ng alambre at dumaloy ang boltahe ng kuryente patungo sa dalawang biktima. Nadamay daw ang anak nilang grade 3 na si Gian dahil kumapit din ito sa katawan ng ina para sana ilayo siya sa saksakan. Pero sadyang mabilis daw ang paggapang ng kuryente kahit pati ang kapatid at pinsan ni Rochelle na sina Michael at Henry na sasaklolo rin sana na kuryente rin. Ayon sa PNP, dapat tandaan ng publiko na ang mga naka-expose o yung mga nakalabas na wiring ng outlet o saksakan, pati na yung mga isinasaksak natin dito ng mga substandard na appliance ay napaka-peligroso. Mula Maynila, umuwi ng biglaan sa Malasiki ang pamilya ng mga nakuryente. Hindi ko po kaya paliwanag kasi po kung tutusin, parang gusto ko na rin sumama sa kanila dahil iniwan nila akong mag-isa. <laughs> parang gumawa ang mundo sa akin kasi sabay-sabay sila. Humihingi ng tulong pinansyal si Aling Nida sa pamahalaan. Gusto ko humingi po ng tulong kay President Duterte na <laughs> sa nangyaring ito sa anak, konting tulong lang kung ipagkalob niya sa amin <laughs> para po mapaayos ko po ng lagay yung mga anak ko. Mula dito sa Malisiki, Pangasinan, Emil Sumangin, nakatutok 24 oras.
stay safe together. Hey there. No, 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 down here. <laughs> Shocked? Don't be. I'm just the outlet you need to turn on the lights, watch TV, charge your phone, even play games on the computer. They all run through me with electricity. But I'm here to tell you that electricity can run through a lot of other things too, because it's always trying to get to the ground as fast as possible. So it'll travel through conductors like metal, water, wood. Electricity can even travel through you too. That's why you've got to play it safe and sound when electricity's around. So come on, come in. In there? Sure. Let's explore my top five that can keep you alive. Let's see, hmm, why don't we start with, um... How about number one? Number one? <laughs> That's a good place to begin. It's simple. Never, ever, ever stick metal objects into an outlet or anything running on electricity, like a computer, a game, or especially an old kitchen appliance, like a toaster. Yeah, I like to eat toast, but I don't want to be toast. Okay, number two. Don't put too many plugs into one outlet. There's a reason why each outlet only has two plug-ins. Using any more than two could spit sparks and start a fire. So if I need to plug in more, I'll always use a power strip. Three, water mixes with a lot of things, but water and electricity, <laughs> they don't mix. They never have, they never will. So to avoid a really shocking accident, that means no hair dryers, no phone or game chargers, nothing plugged in near a tub or sink full of water. Play it so safe that you never even touch an electric switch when you're wet. And hey, that means no radios near the pool either. Number four is so easy, you won't even have to look it up. Just look up. Oh, you mean stay away from power lines. Especially during thunderstorms. Strong storms and wind can damage power lines. And if you see that happen, wow, get back. And I'll get to a phone and call og and &E as fast as I can. The same goes for power lines damaged in a car accident. That means steer clear. And if you're in a car and power lines are touching it, don't get out. You're actually safe in the car. But if you do need to get out, jump as far as you can without touching the car and the ground at the same time. Just remember, sagging power lines or lines knocked to the ground are dangerous, even if they're not sparking, dancing, or making a crackling sound. But good power lines can be a danger too. So remember, don't climb power line poles or trees near a power line. Because if one tiny little leaf touches the power line... <laughs> Number five, it says to stay away from transformers and substations. You know, transformers, they aren't robots. They're those little green boxes that you see around your neighborhood. And they carry enough power to light up your neighborhood. And they could light you up too. So if you see one that's unlocked, don't touch it. Tell your mom and dad to call OG and E. And same goes for those big substations. They're so powerful, they gotta have a big fence around them to keep people out. In fact, best to stay away from anything with a sign like this on it. So that's the five that'll keep you alive. Never put metal objects into outlets or appliances. Don't plug too much stuff into one outlet. Never mix water and electricity. Stay away from power lines. And always stay away from transformers and substations. We've got more facts and fun at OGE.com. So come hang out at Pluggy's Outlet. You'll even find out how to make your home greener and about alternate energy sources that'll power your world in the 2020 and beyond. So whether you're outside, inside, or upside down, let's handle electricity with care. And let's, let's all stay safe together. together.